OSHA competent person. What is a OSHA competent person? The term competent person appears in many OSHA standards. 29 CFR 1926.32F states a competent person means one who is capable of identifying existing and predictable hazards in the surroundings or working conditions that are unsanitary, hazardous, or dangerous to employees, and who has the author authorization to take prompt corrective measures to eliminate them. Capable. First, we need to understand two terms as defined by OSHA. Qualified, which means that by education or experience, an employee has demonstrated the ability to solve problems related to a particular job. Certified, which means an employee has passed certification exams from an accredited organization for the work they're going to perform. By way of training or and experience, a competent person is knowledgeable of applicable standards and can identify workplace hazards relating to specific work. What training or experience is needed? Ideally, the competent person has training and experience. The knowledge can be gained from years of working, is self-taught, has manufacturer's training, and knows the requirements of the OSHA standard for which they are assigned as competent person. This may be a frontline supervisor with 10 or more years of experience or a professional engineer. Who has authorization? Authorized, which means the employer has approved or assigned an employee to perform a specific duty or be in a specific area. A competent person has the authority to stop work to ensure the work area is safe. When is a competent person needed? A competent person is required for specific work types and under specific conditions detailed in the OSHA regulations. Generally, a competent person must inspect the work area or specific equipment or conditions before work begins. What standards require a competent person? Two standards are specifically dedicated to a competent person. Maritime 1915.7, competent person, and gear certification 1919.37. However, there are over 120 individual standards that require a competent person. This does not include the 28 OSHA approved state plans, which are required to have standards and enforcement programs that are at least as effective as the federal OSHA requirements. In many cases, state programs are more stringent than federal regulations. For a complete list of the OSHA standards requiring a competent person, see the accompanying article on my website, ToddJeromeJenkins.com. Head over to ToddJeromeJenkins.com to see more of the projects I'm working on, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I post, give me a thumbs up, and forward this to someone you know.